Okay, it is a Monday. <sighs> it is my last Monday that will be kind of <sighs> chill Monday. <laughs> start next Monday um, in February. We will start back with Carol Best Art. And I am so excited to get her back into her routine. I don't know if maybe that's part of her problem. Uh, routine change is not good for her. And we have not been to art since the first part of December. And now we're going into February. So that is a long break. Um, yeah, yeah. And so... Um, and with the holidays and everything, we just didn't do library day. Um, usually we try to make Monday like a day of, we'll do library day, we'll do, take us like a little picnic lunch or something. Um, and then do art. Um, and so we're trying to scooch out the door in a hurry and all that fun stuff. Um, we call it Madness Monday. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got to get back into a routine um, next week of that. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I really am. Um, I think it'll do, uh oh I think it'll do her some good of getting out. I um, mean, we get out anyway, but uh, I know she's missing art class. Miss Foxy is doing good. Is that you, baby girl? I heard somebody, usually Brian's the one that does his fingers along the wall. Why, I do not know. I could have sworn I heard somebody. Anywho, Miss Foxy's doing good. I think it just scared her. Um, she's curled up in her little bed. Foxy! Hey, girlfriend! Hey, girlfriend! What you doing? Are you cold this morning? Say, it is cold this morning. You want to bundle back up? Um, Miss Doris is under her blankie. They're just, yeah, Doris loves laying on her back. Bo called this morning, well, Fat Man called this morning, wanted to know he could not find Doris this morning. Oh, Cheetah Bod's trying to get into his bed. He thinks, he thinks this is his bed. He will lay there. Does he see that other cat? Anywho. He will, oh, it's a squirrel. We've got a squirrel, like, right there. They come up here on the porch. Oh, he's done run down the sidewalk. They come up on the porch and eat the cat food. <laughs> Anywho, um, where was I going with this? I was going somewhere with something. Yeah, I'm working on making me a cup of coffee. We are doing Money Monday. So I've got to shift my gear so this isn't a long one. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, do y'all like the shorter ones or do y'all like the longer ones? Because I can ramble. Y'all know me, honey. I can ramble about anything. Like I said, if I ever had to go to a trial for anything and they want them yes, no answers... Y'all know Big Mama can't do that. Yes, no, my foot. Yeah. Mm -mm. It's going to take me five minutes to... Well, you see what happened was... <laughs> you know you down south and you're going to get you a good one if it starts... Well, you see what happened was... <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm waiting on my coffee. Not like I need any... <laughs> it's brewing. It's doing its thing. Anyhow, Money Monday. Today what we were going to talk about is, um, uh-oh, might help if I'm in frame, huh? Um, how to take an inventory of what you have, because we are fixing to be in February, and, um, I'm going to take an inventory of what I've got and um, kind of plan my menus from that. Um, I know for a fact we have got two huge hands in there. Um, 
one that Brian had gotten and the one that I had gotten at Aldi's whenever they had them on sale around Christmas. Yeah. And uh, we never did use them. We just got them to have in the freezer. Um, mine, actually, they had to sell to me at the 95 cent a pound price. Even though they were out, they had to sell because they were kept being out. Um, they had to sell me like the $2 job for 95 cents a pound. Yeah. Woo woo. Um, I do need to get started on my laundry. I think boy was supposed to, it's technically the boy's day, but because Becca drug hers out all weekend. And granted, I did not do mine Friday, so that's kind of my fault. Um, somebody had money they left on the drawer. They know any money left on the drawer goes into our money cup. Um, and like I said, that will be used either for savings or, oh, and it's already getting kind of full again, y'all. Um, I need to clean out the change thing of the dashboard of my car. Um, like I said, I need to go through, my dryer has gotten wampus, and, um, make a list of, make a list of things we need from Costco, because we're going to have that $65 check coming. I know we're going to need toilet paper. We're good on paper towels. Um... I'm going to try to stick to needs. Um, laundry soap, we will probably be needing again. Um, I've got part of a Tide thing and another. I used to never buy Tide. This was our first time ever buying Tide. Um, usually I either get the Sam's or the Costco. Um, and... The Tide was on instant savings, and it worked out just as cheap as the uh, Costco. I was looking at my hot water heater. It wasn't beeping. So, um, that's why, that's the only reason why I got the Tide. All right, so I'm going to swab some laundry out, get some more going, and then we're going to clean out that freezer and take an inventory. So, I will be back. Yeah. Yeah, it's Monday. Right when I think, okay, I'm getting my crap together. I'm doing good. Da, 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 da. I spill a whole thing of cat food all over my floor. But I guess it's a good thing. I have not swept the floor yet. So at least I spilled it before I swept it. It really would have sucked if I would have spilled it after I swept. <laughs> so praise the Lord. <laughs> See, I gotta look at the silver lining and everything. Alright, so here's the status. Don't get scared now. But here's the status of our freezer. Yeah. I'm I'm tethered. My battery is. So I don't know if I got everything or not. I am still and I'm debating about chunking these, but they are great if we have to do like a long haul. Um with stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm debating about keeping this. They came in a HelloFresh box. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to start taking inventory and see what we got and start organizing because this, <laughs> this is not organized. This is chaos. Last night, or yesterday afternoon, yesterday afternoon, we were looking for, um, let me close it for a second while I run my file. See, procrastination. Procrastination, it is finished. Um, I was looking for hamburger buns. I was looking for hot dog buns. Found the hamburgers. Found the hamburger buns. I have some hot dogs in the refrigerator, and I was looking for the hot dog buns. We were going to do that after church yesterday. And, because Saturday we just did leftovers. Um, and so yesterday we were going to do the hamburger. 
Well, I never could find no dead bird hot dog buns. And I could have sworn the handies to you. I had some hot dog buns. But that's all right. Them hot dogs is in there. And these baked beans I got in here, guess what we have in one night? Beanie weenies. It's happening, y'all. Beanie weenies is going down. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, let me get to what we have. And then I will show y'all once it's in order. Because this right now, there's no order to this. Yeah, there's there's no order, rhyme, nor reason to what's in, down in here right now. Okay, little side note. It is awesome when you're cleaning out your deep freezer and you find bourbon balls. Not many left, but you find some bourbon balls. Yeah, it's like the good Lord saying, here's the little incentive. <laughs> Coffee and bourbon balls, the breakfast of champions. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. So, I'm having some bourbon balls while I clean out my freezer. Yeah. It's all good. I ain't driving. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I basically took everything out. It's all over the floor. I'm good. You hear beeping because I've got the door open. Um, there's my milk. I got the 99 cents a gallon. Woohoo! I've got four gallons left. I might have to go take one more gallon out because by the time it thaws, I'll be ready for it. Not because I'm debating about keeping those ice packs, but I'm keeping beef over here. Here's my hams. I knew I had the two hams. I did not realize I had this bag of ham pieces. So, and I've got ham on my menu. Uh-oh. I've got ham on my menu this week. So, um, we're going to use the pieces first. Yeah, we're going to use this up first. So I'm going to put it where I can kind of get to it. Potato stuff and things like onion rings, I'm going to just kind of put there. We've got those hash browns in there that I've been meaning to use and meaning to use and meaning to use. So, and what I'm doing is, as I'm, I'm just making an inventory, like one extra large hamburger meat, one pound of hamburger meat, one beef for tacos, one meatball. So I'm making a list, like two whole hams and a bag of ham pieces, uh, four gallons of milk. I'm just going through and I'm making an inventory of what I have. Um, and so, and then that way, whenever I get ready to do my menu, I'm just going to look at my inventory sheet of, okay, this is what we have. Um, and then I'll be able to look at my pantry goods. This is what we have. How many meals can I make out of all this stuff? So that's where I am right now. Like I said, clean everything out. Just take everything out. And as you're putting it back, put it in order and write down what you have. So I'm going to keep putting back. All right, so here's a good example. Hold on a second. Let's see. Now let's get in here. I call myself being prepared. Here's that chicken I was talking about. That there's three eighty three, and that had the two dollar off stickers, so I paid a dollar eighty three. Yeah. All right. Um. As I'm going through, I thought we were completely out of fish. Look what I found at the bottom. Found some tilapia, and this will be enough for one time. I found that shrimp that I had bought that I was going to do the angel hair pasta with. And then I found some box of fish sticks. 
So I know I've got at least two meals right here of seafood. I can do my angel hair pasta and a few fish sticks. And then I can one night I can do the tilapia and maybe a few fish sticks. Pull it off that way. Or what I might do is we can see if I've got enough fish sticks for a meal. That might be enough to either piss people off or fill them <laughs> fill them up. If I can stretch it to make three meals, boom, there's three meals. That might be what I do. So I'm just gonna put and like I said, that tilapia was down at the bottom. I didn't know we had it. So I'm just gonna make like a little separate column for seafood. Okay, here's another example of something that I'll do. I have this big bag of broccoli florets. Okay? And say, I know I want to do um, chicken alfredo. I've got some alfredo sauce. I've got enough to do my shrimp alfredo. And I've got enough to do like broccoli chicken alfredo or broccoli something. Um, and instead of just putting one large bag, I'm going to put broccoli two times. And that lets me know that th I, even though I've got one bag, if I put one bag, I might think that I've got like a small, like one of these. Okay? So I just know that two times means I've got two times worth of broccoli in there. Okay? Um, that's like... Um, there's the Mexican beans that we like so much. And this will be enough to do one time, but like with leftovers. I wish I would have known I had that when I did Dorito Pie Girlfriend. And I'm just going to put Mexican beans. Um, I'm looking to see if I've got another. Okay. Here's a good example. I've got two bags of these, but they are small bags. Um, I got these a while back. I guess they're still good. Praise Hannah's. September 29th. Hey, don't you love long expiration dates? I do. I got these a while back when Renfro's had them on sale for um, two for a dollar. So even though they were small, two for a dollar, you can't be that. So. I'll have to make both bags, so that's why I try to get two of each kind whenever I bought them. So I'm going to put filled peas and snaps even though I have two bags, I'm going to put one time. Because it's going to take both bags. Okay, does that make sense to anybody? I mean, you do it however you need it for your family. But like, I've got two bags. I'm not going to put two on there. I'm going to do one time. Because that lets me know I've got enough in here to do one meal. Um, and you're, if you're a small family, you could probably get by with. Honey, I'm feeding havens. Y'all see my crew. Even Tapeworm Boy, even though he's skinny, he can show pack that food in. Honey, us girls, we can walk by and it sticks to our thighs. Yes, ma'am. All right, stir fry mix, same thing. I've got two bags, but it's only enough for one time. So, stir fry, one time. Okay? Um, this is where I did those. Remember, I had those mini peppers. They were going to go bad if I didn't use them, and I just chopped some onion up. Um, so, and I'm going to do three times uh, onion pepper mix. Because I do enough in each bag, but do my own homemade. Um, I'll do enough in bags for one time. So, and now I've got three cream corns. And this and that llama beans probably for one time. And we call 
the cold lima beans, technically, I put the green, I call them butter beans. Because to me, lima beans are the big white ones, the dried ones. And I've got some dried ones. I knew we were going to be doing that ham. So I've got a pack of dried ones. Uh, we're going to take leftover ham, and I'm going to do dried lima beans in ham. But that's on the menu for this week. Woohoo! Um, Alright, so I got all my veggies done up and counted and allotted. Yeah. So, those back in there. And like I said, like I wrote the butter beans down, but I've already got them on the menu. So what I'll do whenever I go and look at this week's menu, I'll go ahead and scratch that off because then I'm using it. And like that um, one hand piece, I'll go ahead and scratch it off because I know I'm going to be using it this week. I'm taking an inventory of everything, but things I've already got on my menu plan for this week, I'll scratch off. Make sense? It does to me. Let's have a bourbon ball, shall we? <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to kind of show as I'm putting in. I try, like I said, I try to keep it organized. It don't always happen. The kids come in here and get stuff for me, or they put away groceries for me, and they don't put them away. Yeah, and I move stuff around too, so it's not just them. But beef, pork, um, odds and ends like pizzas underneath that is more pork like the hams i've got underneath there fish is under there toward the back this is my vegetables and underneath it i'll do like my potato stuff and things like that um bread i just keep all my bread like in a bag um it's got like my bagels loaf bread rolls um english muffins any kind of buns. I try to keep once if I get like a lot of buns and stuff, um, then I'll start sticking my bread like there's a hole there. I'll do my bread over there. Um, and then there's that milk. And I still got like these these things here to go. Here's my chicken um, and then lunch stuff. So that's where we're at so far. But I'm putting it in order. I'm, I'm tr gonna try. <laughs> ah, great plans. I'm gonna try to keep it in order. Yeah, right. If I kept it in order, then we wouldn't have these fun organization videos, would we? <laughs> okay, I am gonna try something a little bit different. Um, I've got like a smaller laundry basket I'm gonna try to put my chicken in I'm gonna see if there's enough room in here to do my chicken in it um, I've still got we love doing these I got these at Sam's and we love doing these for like lunches on um, chicken sandwiches um, on a Thursday night if I don't feel like cooking the kids know they can come in here grab these find some hamburger buns if you have them. Now that I know we've got this many still in here, I'll make sure to get some hamburger buns. Um, popcorn chicken, I try to keep on hand for those quick lunches for me and Carol Beth, or it makes great um, six sister stuff honey sticky chicken. Oh, my stars in heaven. I don't know if I ever did that one or not. That might be a frugal Friday. I'll have to look back and see if I did that one or not. Y'all, I'm just saying. Um, but I also have some odds that I found. Um, I had one of the quiche things left. I have part of a little smoky pack. You know, the little cocktail weenie things. Um, one night this week, we're going to do wings. Just like finger foods. And so I found bits and pieces of this and that. So I know if I just leave them in there because I want to make them, somebody will get them and eat them. You know what I'm saying? They've been in there for a month or two. Yeah, and ain't nobody touched them yet, but because I want to cook them, somebody will get them. 
so Big Mama go hike. I mean, you know what I mean? Um, but I am going. I'm going to try to see if I can get this chicken basket. I'm making me a new chicken basket. Um, and the only other basket that I have left is like lunchy stuff. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get this chicken basket in there. I've got a lot more chicken than I thought I did. Also, with these, the patty things, we either got that. I want to say we got these at Sam's. Yes, I got these at Sam's a while back. Um, they make great chicken parmesan. If you're in a hurry for a meal, yes, ma'am, you take you some spaghetti sauce, you take you some mozzarella or provolone cheese, make you up a little bit of pasta, and boom, there you go. You got you some chicken parm, I'm just saying. Um, so that might be a meal we do one night. I think I got, I had to check my spaghetti sauce stash, but that, that would be a good meal to me. All right, so let me write down my inventory of my chicken. Here's my inventory. Whoa, y'all were on top of my list. <laughs> that wasn't the bourbon balls, it was y'all. <laughs> um, here's what I'm looking like so far. I'm still trying to keep it in order by like all pork, all bread, all. So I'm gonna have to probably either flip over and make a chicken. I might keep it over here down in this little corner. So, let me make a list of my chicken and we'll see where we are. Okay, one night, um, this is kind of like market or do something to let kids know that you need it. That's like I said, on these, on a Thursday night, if I can't cook for whatever reason, the kids know we're at lunches, they know they can come and get one of these made for lunches. If I was getting low and I had eggplant parm on the menu, I would make a note like if I only had just enough for eggplant parm, I would make a note for supper. Don't touch. Um, these I've got enough with that they can get lunches and I could still do like an eggplant parm. So I'm just going to make a note or a star next to where I've got chicken patties. I'm just going to kind of make a little note a lot. And that will let me know that I've got enough, you know, they can do for lunches, we could do a couple of off suppers off of. Now, my popcorn chicken. When I discovered it, and like I said, I thought about my sticky, my six sister stuff, sticky chicken. Good, that dryer's done, I won't have to talk over it. Um, notice how, because Brian will get a hold of these in a heartbeat, I mean. So, there's enough in here for one supper, okay? I just folded it over and I put a note on there, supper. And that way they know you can't get these just snack on or for lunches or whatever. These are designated. And so I'll know, like where I've got popcorn chicken, see where I did chicken patties a lot, where I've got popcorn chicken, I'm going to put supper one time supper. Do you see how I did that? And when I get it more into my meal plan, I'll kind of go over that and show. But while I'm thinking about it, I'll, I'll just have a pen and some post-it notes and some rubber bands. And I'll put notes on crap. I ain't hurting my feelings a bit. <laughs> um, so, I'm still counting chicken. I've got one pack of cooked chicken. And then, let's see, one cooked, one drumstick, two packs of breast, um, one buffalo wing. Honey, Fat Man and Brian have been after me and after me and after me about wings. So, we got some wings. Um, like I said, I did the buffalo style for the boys. And then I just bought some plain. And we'll actually probably get, it says servings per container seven. I might try to eke out. Well, no, I might go ahead and make them all and then whatever's left. They can do for lunches or something. 
on raw wings. And then I'm going to do, like I said, my wing knot. I'm going to do those quiches. So I'm going to put it out here next to wing knot um, quiche and little uh, cocktail sausage. Cocktail weenies. I just made a little note like that. Like I said, whenever I get to my menu, we'll go more into that. But I think I am going to be able to get this to fit in my freezer. We're going to see. I really don't want to put it on top of my bread. So, we might go that way with that one. Yeah, I'm going to get it in there one way or another. Okay, oh my gosh, y'all, look. Okay, this is a shelf that actually came with the freezer. It fits on this little lip bridge. See? Okay, and then this one fits on the top. And then you can slide. These have got the handles, and you can slide over. Look where this laundry basket fits. Okay, I can't. It fit on that lip bridge, like perfectly. See? And I did not even measure, y'all. I did not measure. But yay! Alright, now, let's see if we can get this lunch one to fit. It goes actually across the top. Uh-oh. Now they're all wampus, aren't you? Yeah. Hey, hon. It's all fun and games to your wampus. Alright, so, to get my lunch one in and then we're good. Alright, here's what we're looking like now that I got everything back in. I'm excited my chicken thing fit. Yay! Here's the lunch one. I did not write any of the lunch stuff down. It was just in there. Brian lo loves taking these to work for guys at work. So that's what he'll do with those. I've still got some Hot Pockets left. Still got, I found some burritos down in there. We've still got these little grilled chicken sandwiches that we got at Costco when they worked out 50 cents a sandwich. So yeah. And then I got little personal pan deep dish pizzas. And then two of the pot pies. Me and Kerbuck love pot pies. I won't do the marine calendars anymore. Yeah, no. Um, uh uh. Way too expensive. And uh, to me, Give me some good old banquet or Swanson. I'm just saying. Yeah. For the price, yes, ma'am. Alright, so I got the freezer turned back on. I need to figure out. I want to set it for zero. Alright. Okay, set to express chill for zero. All right, so that did the freezer. Now, we're going to move on to the pantry shelves. This ought to be fun. Because <laughs> we've got all this. Now, it looks like a lot, but it won't take me long at all to kind of organize. It needs organizing anyway. Things, like I said, if the kids put things away, they just shove it up there. So, yeah. Um, like I said, I took note. Um, I know that we're going to need toilet paper, so that is something I'll use with Costco, with our Costco thing. Um, yeah. So let me get our pantry organized, and then we'll get to menu planning. Okay, here's one question. It's question, dilemma, advice. Yeah, I need from y'all. I bought these to go buy... If I move, somebody's going to die. <laughs> I want like these to-go boxes, the little divided container styrofoam thingies, back when we were getting ready to have pie party. Because one year we had an overload of people and pies. This year we only had like maybe 10 people, 12 people. Yeah. Anywho, 
Um, that one year that we had an overload of people in pies, A, we were still down at the farm. You're talking cramming 40, 50, 60 people in a double wide. Yeah, it was done and fun was had by all, I'm just saying. But um, we needed to go boxes. So I've learned from then, uh, either get like the little box to go box. Anywho, we did not use them. I doubt I will use them. Do I take this back? I think I take them back. I think I'm gonna take them back. Yeah. I don't know where my receipt is though, so I don't know how Sam does stuff like that. I guess I need to call. I guess I need to call him. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because that would be a credit toward getting me something that we would use. All the more power to me, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if that would give me a credit where I could get uh, dish soap or, you know, something, I don't know. Or put toward our membership. Yeah, yeah. So I think I'm going to take those back. Advice. Advice. <laughs> okay. Y'all are probably going to get tired as a witch's honey, me bugging y'all. But as things come to me, before I forget, because y'all know my mind, right? Um, this is where you're kind of having a spot designated in your pantry for items, even though it gets out of whack. But having that designated area. You can kind of look and tell, okay, there's nothing there. I'm out. I need to see about getting some. This is usually our breakfast shelf, our cereal, Pop-Tarts, things like that. And once it's opened, it goes into the kitchen in the little breakfast area in the little cabinet in there. But extras for, yeah, I'll keep in here. So I can automatically look and know we are completely out of cereal. When you're completely out of pop tarts or cereal bars or whatever and i don't buy pop tarts every week it, you know it just depends i'll try to vary things i know not to buy pop tarts and cereal bars in the same week because guess what my heathens are going to eat them all and that will be something else that we'll talk about whenever we get ready to menu plan or no maybe i better go ahead and mention it now while it's on my mind um when I go for my shopping trip, um, things that I'll do on my menu for like suppers, I'll go ahead and kind of get if I know that it won't be eaten. Um, I know that stir fry vegetables, okay, let's just use that as an example. I know stir fry vegetables, those kids are not going to come in here and grab, ooh, I want some stir fry vegetables. They aren't going to do that. Now, Pop-Tarts, on the other hand, if I thought, okay, I'm going to go ahead and buy a month's worth of Pop-Tarts and get it done and over with, do I look stupid? Come on now. A month's worth of Pop-Tarts in this house would last a week because they would, ooh, we got all these Pop-Tarts. I can eat more than one pack. Know what I'm saying? So, things like that, things that I know that they're going to plow through, uh, yeah, no, no, uh-uh. Does this look stupid? Cereal, I'll only buy enough for a week, roughly. Um, I'm not going to go and buy five, six boxes of cereal. No, no. They'll open every box. I kid you not. We might have Apple Jacks open, but one of them's wanting Fruit Loops, so they're going to open the Fruit Loops. And then somebody else going to want the Corn Flakes, so they're going to open it. Do you see where I'm going with this? Yeah. I'll buy it the most. Two boxes. Yeah. And if it's a good sweet kind, Miss Becca could eat the whole box by herself at one time. So, we usually have the rule, I'll get one sweet and then something like just Corn Flakes or plain Cheerios or, yeah. But while it was on my mind, if it's something you know they're good, like snacks or if it's Pop-Tarts or, I am shocked as I'll get out, these cookies have not been opened. That is blowing my mind. I mean, that is really... The hand of God must have 
force field over those cookies. <laughs> Um, Pirate's Booty, they had a hissy fit. They'd been wanting Pirate's Booty and wanting Pirate's Booty and wanting. And I finally decided, you know what, instead of buying just normal chips, I'm going to splurge and get the Pirate's Booty. Bought the big thing from Costco. I think me and Fat Man are the only ones that have eaten a couple of packs. And y'all, seriously, by the time you open it, there ain't nothing in it. Servants per container one, thank God. Uh, calories 70, so they're only 70 calories. Only nine grams of carbs. But there ain't enough in there to say hooey over. I'm just saying. So, yeah, I won't buy no more Pirates booty. Let's just say that. Yeah. Uh oh, hey y'all. <laughs> Watch what you're doing. <laughs> say, so, but while that was on my mind. <clears throat> I need to go ahead and, yeah. <laughs> okay, hey y'all. All right, now, we're still on Money Monday, and today we're talking about menu planning and how to reduce your grocery budget, um, like for the month. Um, and like I said, we have got all this stuff in our freezer, and we've got all this stuff can good wise and on our pantry and pastas and that type thing so you see what I'll do before I get ready to go into the next month and I used to would menu plan for the month and we need to start getting back kind of into that mindset and usually what I'll do is when I go I'll still do my weekly grocery shopping but I will be buying items that are on sale um, that's like the canned tomatoes. Um, A, we were out, and they were actually on sale, I want to say 39 cents a can, 49 cents a can. So, it was a stock up price, and we were out. So, I devoted a good bit of my grocery budget. You got your sandwich? Yep. She's eating her lunch. Um, I devoted a good bit, bit of my grocery budget that week to stocking up. Um, this time I thought I was going to need meat. And now that I'm kind of looking at what I've got in there, I'm like, okay, you know what? I think I've got enough meat to do for the month. So, I'm going to be looking for whatever meat is marked down. I'm not specifically, oh, okay, we're going to have pork chops, this night, this night, and this night. So, I've got to buy pork chops. Well, what if they aren't on sale? What if they're, you know, expensive? So, that's when you buy what's on sale to go in your stockpile or to, to go back and you use what you already have. Does that make sense? You're wanting to buy items when they're on sale or when they're at their cheapest. Um, so, I'm basing my February menu plan by what I already have. Nine times out of ten, that's usually why whenever I do go to the grocery store, it's basically, mainly, I need lunch items and breakfast items. Because, like I said, if it's something that these heathens are going to eat a lot of, I'm only going to buy a week's worth. I'm not going to buy a month's worth. Do I, do, again, do I look crazy? Don't answer that, y'all. <laughs> Um, what I did do with my February, um, this is my divider page for February in my planner. And so this was blank. So I decided to divide it off. I never did J January's. December's, I forgot how I divided it. I divided it, I want to say, by what I needed to finish for Christmas, what I needed to wrap, what I needed to get to make, to take somewhere. Um, I want to say that's how I divided it. So, you see this, this blank divider page. I'll kind of divide it however I need to. I'm doing something different this time. I'm going by projects to do. I'm going to have me a little running Walmart list. There are some things that I just can't get at Aldi that I need to get at Walmart. Um, 
my Costco list, like I said, we're going to have that $65 to spend at Costco. Miscellaneous expenses, I know our Sam's membership is coming up. So, and I'm going to make a little note next to that. Take those, um, take divided plates back. That way I'll remember to do that. Um, and my Costco list, just as I think of things, you know, I'll put it down. I know we need toilet paper. Walmart list, I know I need fix a dent. Um, there was something else that I was going to need for Walmart, but I'm just going to kind of have this to the side. Another thing that I'm going to do, A, I printed out a, a calendar, and... It's a Monday start, and yes, I do have a menu planner in my, I'm a goofball. I got a menu planner in my thing. Hey, Hans, how you doing? How's your mama and them? I'm the nut side of the family. <laughs> right, uh, hey y'all, why reinvent the wheel when you've got a wheel? I'm just saying. Yeah, it's all fun and games to you. Forget what you were doing. Hey. All right. What I'm going to do, for, forget I said that. <laughs> It'll be all right. It will be okay. <laughs> I've got my menu planner. <laughs> yeah. Um, I got my inventory sheets. And I have got my monthly planner. The reason why I need my monthly planner, A, I know a few days we're going to be, me and Fat Man are going to be out of town. So those days I need to make a note on my menu plan. I need to know that I've got something easy for the kids to do or something that Carol Beth can do on her own and let the other heathens worry about themselves, you know what I'm saying? Um, that way that girl ain't going to starve. Um, and I know Becca won't let her. Brian wouldn't let her either, I don't think. Anywho, I need to be able to kind of look and see, okay, this is going to be a busy day. Um, Eliza was wanting to make sure I was still going to be doing crock pot Mondays. Yes. Because starting back in February, February the 4th is our first Monday, um, Carol Beth will start back art. So, and art days are crock pot days. Um, the 11th, I'll be out of town. So, um, President's Day, she won't have art, but I will still probably do a crock pot meal. Um, I don't have my little crock pot stickers with me. I'm trying to draw a crock pot. That don't look like a crock pot. That looks like a birthday cake. I tried drawing a crock pot. <laughs> it either looks like a birthday cake or a stick of dynamite. <laughs> Usually whenever I need a crock pot meal, if I don't have my stickers, I'll just do a CP and circle it. And I know that CP means crock pot. Um, if I've got a busy day, like uh, gamma days, I know those are easy meal days. I just, and I'm going to go ahead and put gamma down all of those. That's how I get to spend my Valentine's Day. Isn't that lovely? All right. And that is also Foxy's birthday. We got Foxy in the month of December. We got Foxy the month of February. In fact, it was Valentine's week. And so we weren't really sure of her actual birthday. So we picked Valentine's Day as her birthday. Um, but yeah, right now, here's how my, my month is going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of transfer those days to my menu and I'll know when I need these meals when I'm going to be out of town because that's going to make a difference as to what I'm making if I know I'm going to have a late day 
Be my mate. Making a elaborate. I was gonna say roast, but roast you can do in the front pot. Um, my little labels. My little labels I was trying to use as my dividers are not wanting to stick. So that's when you pull out your Dollar Tree tape and tape it down. And if y'all hear planes going over, they are doing maneuvers. So I'm just saying. Yeah. It's all funny games. So the Air Force is called out on. <laughs> we are very close to Maxwell Air Force Base. Like very close. Okay. Yeah. So I just take that thing down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of make a little mark or make a little note of days that I'm gonna be out and about. And then I'll be able to think, okay, I need a quick meal here or a crop pot meal here or something. I do have my uh, whiskey in a teacup recipe book. I know I kind of want to pull from here and I know I want to recipes that I use a lot. I keep in this little folder thing just on the side of my refrigerator and I can pull um, ham and cheese sliders. That's one of my go-tos. Um, let's see. Poppy seed chicken. That's a go-to. Um, I am looking for um, that sticky sesame chicken. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Um, slow cook your Philly cheese steak sandwiches. I've never made those, but I'm intrigued. Uh, I've put some things in here that I've been wanting to try. Um, Amish poor man steak. That is wonderful. It's easy and it's cheap. So that's going to be a definite. Um, trying to look and see. Make ahead freezer meatloaves and you do them in the crock pot. Girl, I'm just saying. So that might be one that we do. Alright. So I think I've kind of pulled some different ones and some that we haven't done in a while. I've never made this one and I'm intrigued. I'm trying to see what it costs for. So this might be a maybe. I've got everything it costs for but the beef round steak. So, and since I'm not going to have to actually buy a lot of meat, that might be a maybe. The slow cooker meal, um, yeah. Yeah, that might be my one name. I usually try to pick one new recipe a month. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I think that might be it. So, let me kind of get to thinking. Like I said, I know I've got that popcorn chicken in there. So, sticky chicken is going to be on my list. I've got a good bit of hamburger meat. So, Amish poor man steak. I've got all the stuff for it. Um, and it is so good. Like, seriously, it is so good. Um... Make ahead freezer meatloaves. That's something that I could do. So I think I'm kind of good to go. So I'm just going to kind of sit down and start looking at my inventory and start coming up with my plan. Uh oh.
what I was just doing when I was looking at this week's um, menu plan and taking off items that I'm going to be using like um, Wednesday and Thursday we're going to be doing ham those ham pieces that were in there and so where I had one bag of ham pieces I scratched that off my list okay um, I know I'm not going to have that for February so I went ahead and just took it off my list um, so now I can look and concentrate on my Februarys. Um, and I know that the, um, third, we're going to have to go to church and take a meal. So, I'm oh going. Oh, boy. <laughs> Carol Beth said, oh, boy. Tell them why you said, oh, boy, about us taking a meal to church. Because you know who might be there. Yeah, we've got some people that they never come to church. They only come for food. Yes, unless we're eating. And then they come out of the woodwork. They don't bring anything, um, but they'll come out of the woodwork. We did, I did make the mistake one Sunday. I forgot because it was a fifth Sunday. And I completely completely forgot that it was a fifth Sunday. Usually if it's a fifth Sunday we'll have excuse me. We'll have singing inspiration Sunday. In other words we'll have a singing Sunday and we'll take a meal. And dinner on the grounds. And I forgot. Well evidently a lot of other people forgot too. Everybody's shaking her head yes because we got there and we realized right when we walked in we saw some casserole dishes but not many crap I forgot we eat at church today I didn't bring anything and I saw a lot of other people did not bring anything too and I kind of whispered to fat man I'm like you know what there's not much food here we're just going to go on home. I did not feel comfortable about eating, staying and eating, and there wasn't much to begin with. A, we didn't take anything, and B, there wasn't, there wasn't enough to go around. Um, because people come up out of the woodwork to eat. Uh, we have seen it where those people, um, uh -huh. the same people, they'll actually be the, the first in line to make their plates. They will even be making to-go plates before the pastor has even made his first plate. They're already making to-go plates. Yeah. And the poor pastor is left with nothing. I mean, we've seen it where he'll just kind of walk by and bless his heart. He's 6'11". The man needs to eat, okay? <laughs> Anywho, so i got to think about, okay, we are eating at church. Um, I will probably buy a special roast. I'll probably make a roast in the fixings, like the potatoes. And so I'll buy either, yeah, yeah, that's probably what I will do. Or, um, ooh, when Dixie still had their thing, I wonder if they still got the thing. You've got 32 pieces of chicken for like 20 bucks. Or a Costco chicken saying um I might do a Costco chicken yeah I might do a Costco chicken and then I could do like some mashed potatoes or something a veggie mixed veggie casserole always goes over real good I've got some cornflakes left now that huge box of cornflakes at Aldi's was only 99 cents yeah so, a mixed vegetable casserole, I've got a ton of canned mixed vegetables in there. And it's just, I did that as one of my, my um, Friday foods. It, you seriously, it's just mayonnaise, and you mix that with your mixed vegetables. You put it in a casserole pan, top it with crushed uh, cornflakes, and then do melted butter. You can either do crushed cornflakes or crushed Ritz crackers, either one of the two, and boom. You got you something good. And it's always eaten. And it's so simple and cheap. So I think I'll do that and either the fried chicken or a roast. Whatever I can find cheap on sale. So I need to make me a little posty note 
of um, we do have because that's like a special I need to make sure that I have my post-it notes are in my pocket I thought they were in my pocket I've lost my post-it notes any hazels all right let me get back to thinking used my inventory sheets of what I have in my freezer and I have made up my menu yay um and it does help if you know okay like I've got appointments this day it's going to be a busy day and you know things are going to come up I know they will that's like the other week when I said oh you know I got nothing planned and then every day I had somewhere I had to go so if things arise, it's not set in stone. I can shift and move things around, which I know I will. I always have to, so I know that that's a given. But it gives me a rough idea. Okay, I've got five things of pork chops in there. And so I have planned one, two, three, three meals using pork chops. Um, I know I have got... Um, some cooked chicken in there. So I've planned a meal using cooked chicken. Um, in fact, where is that? I'm going to put use frozen cooked chicken. I'd almost forgot that I had that frozen cooked chicken and I was going to use a can of chicken, but I need to go ahead and use that frozen first. Cans are going to last near about forever. So, I need to use that, that frozen first. Um, I might even have to add a can to it just to make it kind of stretch. Um, this, so far, is the only list of stuff I'm actually going to have to have to pull off this menu plan. Um, I've gotten all 28 days planned and figured out as far as suppers. Now, this does not include breakfast or lunches or snacks. Like I said, nine times out of ten, that's usually what I'm going to the store for. That and then whatever they've got on sale or marked down. Um, and I was going to try to figure it out not using any extra meat. And I guess I could change some things and use more chicken. Um... But I was trying to think of, and I guess I could go back in and kind of change some things. I figured it out. I don't know why I've got ground beef recipes in my head, but I've got ground beef recipes in my head. Um, so I put down that I'm going to need five pounds of hamburger meat. Um, and I'm trying to see... I know the Amish poor man's steak. Oh, I'm going to need some canned chili. Um, and then that three pounds of beef round steak for the crock pot Philly cheese steak meal. That just sounded good. That's going to be my one um, new recipe that I'm going to try. Um, I've got tacos one night. I wonder if that's what I was thinking. Because our grocery budget going by...
yeah, I have on here allotted $320 for our grocery budget. Yeah. Because we've got these stupid credit cards that we're trying to... Stupid, 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 stupid. Hey, y'all. <laughs> so, but that is... That is how I've come up with my menu plan. So, I hope this helped. I don't know. I'll, I'm sure when I'm editing, I will think, what in the crap was I saying? Um, but, yeah. So, if you find this helpful, comment down below. If you find it, that, or if you have any advice or any ideas or tips and tricks, comment down below and if you're new here hey hon how you doing how's your mama and them um say i'd tell my shit hey um oh who's my new lady from she used to live in phoenix city hey darling how you doing i am so glad you found us we we love we ain't, we ain't nothing but a stone's throw from phoenix city hey girl um she said she was missing home, folks. So we're going to try to make you feel as right on at home. You family, girl. You family. And once you subscribe, you in for the long haul. <laughs> it's like admitting you've got that crazy uncle and aunt. There ain't no backing out once you admit. <laughs> uh. You can't back out once you once you name and proclaim. Um, I was looking to see. Da 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 Brenda, Brenda Crow. Hey, Hoyt, how you doing? Yes, she came from Chickens by the Lake. Hey, Michelle, thank you, girl. Yeah, if y'all would not mind if you're subscribed, hit share on our channel because we are trying so hard to get to our, our subscriber numbers. We're trying very hard to get them up. Sorry. Yeah, hey. <laughs> so, and if you're new here, Bless your heart. <laughs> you done got loped into the crazy. There ain't no getting out now. <laughs> it's like entering the twilight zone. <laughs> oh, but yeah, put on those pearls. Put on that smile. Sit down and think about how you can cut back on your, your grocery budget. Like I said, I've got $320. To make this month last, I'm going to get that $65 from Costco. I'm going to try to make it last. That might be where I, I get my hamburger meat from. I know I need toilet paper. And like I said, we're going to go to the food outlet and check to see if they've got any markdown meat. Um, yeah. Um, I'll be able to look Wednesday and see what's on sale. But we actually need to go and find out what's marked down. Um, and you really got to get there like early that morning. Like when they open the door early that morning. But um, we're going to see what we can do there. Uh, as far as meat goes. Other ground beef and then that beef round steak. That's the only two things I can think of as far as meat wise. Oh, and bacon. We were going to do... Uh, Brenner breakfast for dinner one night. Um, they've been asking about that. That man dropped my eggs the other day. I luckily I only had a few in the carton left. He dropped them. Yeah. So I need to get eggs. And the other day they had them for forty uh, seventy nine cents a dozen, and Big Mama did not get in the car to go get none. I refrained, and then the other day when I popped in just to get whatever it was I popped in to get and found that cheap chicken that I'm killing myself not getting more of, um, and it, they done gone back up to $1.59 a dozen. Pray they go back on sale. <laughs> um, 
Um, but I guess that's it. I guess that's it. So like I said, if you have any tips and tricks on how to make your grocery budget last or stretch, comment down below. If you have any frugal meals, leave them down below. Um, we're all here to help one another out. So yeah, yeah. So until tomorrow, put on those pearls, put on that smile, throw on your apron, put on your thinking cap. Go check your freezer, check your pantry in. Let's do this frugal February together. We're in it for the long haul, y'all. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow.